Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Tanya Lady T and as promised, today is Sunday. I'm getting ready to head to Mama's house for Sunday dinner. But I did want to give you my assessment on my vegan eats for a week. Five days that is. And um, I have to say y'all, I'm going to jump right into it. I absolutely enjoyed it. Um, for me, because I am 50, I noticed that my body, health, everything is changing. So I'm looking at things through a different lens. So I thought, you know what, let me put out on the community post, uh, asking you all, what are some of your favorite meals? What do you enjoy? And a lot of you overwhelmingly, you listed your favorite meals, but a lot of you also listed uh, about vegan, eating vegan. And, and, and really enjoying plant-based eating. So I thought, you know what? I've always been interested, always been intrigued about what would we be, what it would be like to go vegan for whether it was a day, a week, a month, or whatever, just to see uh, the differences. Now, of course, five days is not a long length of time in order to notice uh, lifelong changes and differences. But I wanted to start from somewhere. I wanted to at least give it a try. I don't want to be one of those people that, you know, because it's something I don't understand, I judge or shun from it. So, again, with the big word this year being inclusive, I thought, you know what, let me try. Let me try and do five days, commit to doing five days of nothing but plant-based. And pretty much what it is is you're eating uh, fruits, vegetables, and food that are not born of or come from a live animal. And so I took the challenge. It was something that I just decided to do on my own um, because, like I said, I'm becoming my mother. Um, uh, I have enjoyed just getting back in the kitchen full time, cooking pretty much all of my meals. About 85 to 90 percent of my meals I cook. Or prepare now don't get me wrong I'm still gonna go out and probably eat here and there because it, it just is what it is but I did want to incorporate and put something else in my meal plan so I have choices so I have an alternative and so I thought you know what let me sort of study read up on uh, talk with my daughter go over the list of foods that I should stay away from and all that good stuff and let me also mention that too. Anytime you're making a drastic change like that in your health, always consult your doctor if you're under a doctor's care. That's my recommendation. And the blessing is my insurance company, they have actual doctors and nurses on staff and they actually call you to give you uh, suggestions. They give you recommendations based on, and they're looking at your chart. They know the medicines that you're on and all that stuff. So that's also a blessing. If you, if you have an insurance company that has that part of their insurance program that, um, is beneficial where you can reach out and call a doctor or call your doctor. My doctor, I can get in touch with him easily through email or call, leave a voicemail and they answer. So that's a blessing to be able to do that. So you have, you know, them pretty much at your fingertips because you are a co-laborer with your health. So I thought, you know what, I want to be able to include some of these vegan meals in my everyday meal plan. Will I totally go vegan? Absolutely not, because I love meat. I do. But the takeaway from doing that, because it's one thing to watch people, to watch videos, and see people talk about the health results. Um, but it's another to actually do it and apply it and implement it in your life. So I thought, you know what? I can watch all these videos all I want to. Tanya, gain and get the knowledge and then try it because I wanted to see how certain things affected my body. Like I said, for me, I've t I'm, I listen, like I told, you know, uh, some people I'm doing this for health benefits. And of course the benefit, the side benefit will be of course, weight loss. But ultimately, I'm doing this for health purposes. I want to see my numbers reduced because I'm taking three medications that I don't want to have to take anymore. So it's not about, 
you know, uh, maintaining. Uh, but no, it's about being able to be off of medication. So the only medication I want to have to ever take is like if I got a headache or whatever, I can take an aspirin. You know, that that's that's what I want to be on. So for me, it's health. And some people would think, oh, well, you know, you're saying it's your health, but you know you want to lose weight. Of course, who? I'm a thundercat. Who doesn't want to lose health, lose weight? But all weight loss ain't good weight loss, is it? I mean, you can, you can, you know, be suffering a, a horrible disease and lose a bunch of weight. And it, that's not good weight loss because of something else going on in your body. Or I can eat, some people eat pickles and ketchup and drink water to lose weight. But all your other stuff going on with your blood and all that uh, may not be good because I don't want to lose weight but then have no mental clarity I can't do my job that I corporate job that I have to do that I'm responsible for I can't deduce problem solve troubleshoot because again my mental clarity is not there or I don't have any, the proper nutrition or my blood levels are out of whack so again the focus for me at this age and at this part of my life is truly health. I, I did that for five days and the number one burning question that everyone had was, well, hey, how do you feel? Did it make you feel better? And I must say, yes, it made me feel slightly better. Now, did I get a astronomical big boost of energy? Of course not, because I only did it for five days. But I can tell over a period of time it will be beneficial. And so that's the other thing I wanted to add, too, is that, like my doctor said, small steps will produce big results. So doing small steps along the way, getting your body acclimated and used to the little small changes you make, and then you can incorporate other things. So again, the takeaway from eating vegan for a week, uh, some of those recipes, they're going to stay in my everyday meal planning and meal prep. I loved Loved, loved most of the meals that I made through inspiration of Tabitha Brown, uh, Ghetto Vegan, The Chick Natural, Know Your Produce. And those were just some and most of the uh, channels that I watched just to get uh, um, some input on how to prepare these type of foods. So again, for me, it is about my health. Because like I said, I don't want to lose 20 pounds in my health levels. The numbers that me and my doctors are looking at to reduce don't do anything. They don't move. You know, I mean, a crackhead, a person can get on drugs and lose a bunch of weight, but that don't mean that that's good weight loss. Or somebody can neglect eating certain parts of their diet. And then, you know, so again... For me, it is about health. It is about health. I would rather see my numbers and my levels for my blood and all the things that I want to work on. I'd rather see that reduce than weight reduce. Again, I do want to lose weight, absolutely. But honestly and truly, it's about making healthy decisions. I want to lose 50 pounds. But if I only lose another 20 pounds over this next year and be able to sustain it and still have good health levels, hey, to God be the glory, I'll take it. But again, that is the lens I'm looking through. And so anybody that wants to be encouraged about doing vegan or plant-based, whether you do it totally or just incorporate some of those meals in your lifestyle, do it. Um, anytime we can do things that improves or causes us to make healthier choices, it's a bonus. And I also want to say, too, don't get discouraged that if you do something like this and it's not your cup of tea, then that's it's just not your cup of tea. Do with those decisions that you have made and that you've learned from implement those that work and those that don't just, you know, find other avenues or try to do the best you can with what you're already doing. So again, that was me. I wanted to try it. I'm so glad that I did because the takeaway, my assessment is, I think it was good for me. It allowed me to look at other foods on how to prepare it, how um, I could implement it in my life. So as far as the total overall assessment, I give it a thumbs up. Um, and that's why I wanted to do it because I want to implement those meals um, going forward and I will. 
the other question that was a lot of people asked me was, okay, well, did you lose any weight? I lost three and a half pounds. Okay. So again, to God be the glory, I'm happy for that weight loss. Again, because you're introducing something new to your body. So your body's responding. Um, another question was, well, what about the cost? Did you see a major, you know, shift in cost? Um, some of the items were expensive. Um, so it wasn't a big, big shift because a lot of that stuff I already bought. The only thing that I wasn't used to buying, of course, was the jackfruit, the chickpeas, and then, of course, the beef crumbles, the meatless beef crumbles, and the impossible uh, hamburger meat. And what else did I buy? And the chorizo. I actually loved all of those except the jackfruit. I don't want to totally check that off and dismiss it. I actually, because I got two cans left, I'm actually going to see about implementing another recipe using the jackfruit. So that's why when I was working with the jackfruit, I wanted to fill it with my hands. I know some people say, oh, you should have did with your gloves. No, I, I'm a sensory type person. So I wanted to get my hands in that jackfruit and fill it and see the density of it to see, you know, when I'm seasoning it, how good it's going to absorb what I'm seasoning. So a lot of times you have to get your hands in it. I know for me, so I can feel it. I had to smell it. I had to taste it so I can see, again, the density, you know, how to cook it and all that good stuff. Um, so a lot of people ask the question about, you know, was it, you know, was it hard um, and the cost? And for me, because I cook and because I know how to cook, um, for me, it wasn't a hard thing. The only thing that was, if you wanted to consider work was in my mental because I had to begin to say, okay, Ty, you can't cook with butter. Okay. Remember now you can't use this. So it was the head game that I had to rework in my mind as far as work. Um, because again, you know, when you're used to using honey and butter and milk and those type of things, when you're cooking, making gravies and stuff like that, you have to remember, oh, I can't use that. It's almost like if you're covering for someone at work, even though y'all might be doing the same thing similar, but you have to remember, okay, now this account is different. I have to apply special instructions and rules to this account different of that account. So cooking is cooking and me using different products, just knowing how to handle them, you know, what to do with them, having to stop and pause and say, okay, wait a minute, girl, you can't, you can't grab that butter to put in that broccoli or, 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 you know, you just have to remember there are certain instructions when you're trying to follow that plant-based, um, uh, you know, menu, if you will. So as far as cooking, was it harder did I have to prep more? No, not really. Because like I said, when I'm doing regular food, I love cutting up fruits and vegetables. Um, I pretty much use the same seasonings. Um, so no, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't really hard. It was just, again, remembering the rules, right? Um, the other question people ask, well, did it affect my digestive? Um, for me, I'm already regular. Um, this just, you know, it, it, it didn't make it worse and it didn't make it better. So I didn't see much of a change in my digestive because I'm, like I said, I'm pretty much regular. My system, uh, is just that way. So as far as that, no, no, no change for me in that. Um, and I think those are the major things, the weight loss, the cost, how did it make me feel? And like I said, I felt, I didn't feel any worse. I felt slightly better being on it because again, it's a psychological thing as well that, you know, you know, you're doing something good and different, uh, healthier for your body. So again, you get a boost in that arena. Um, I got up and I walked and did all those things and had my energy. I didn't feel sluggish. Um, so that's a plus, plus and a positive. But again, I only did it for five days. But now that I'm going to implement it even more, I'm sure the more and more I do it, and the small, like I said, the small changes that I make, it's going to be a plus. Um, 
So those were the burning questions that everybody had. Um, now, what will I keep? What will I say goodbye to? Well, I am happy to report Dunkin' Donuts, I love you, but you are going to be replaced with the almond dairy free uh, creamer. Love it. I love it because it doesn't take away the integrity of the taste. I love Colombian flavored coffee or, you know, Colombian coffee. And that creamer doesn't mess with the taste of it. It doesn't leave an aftertaste. It doesn't uh, reduce the strength of it. That bite that I like, love it. So I will be replacing that. Um, I will no longer be buying Dunkin' Donuts. That I will replace. So that's a good, that's a positive. Same way, um, unless something happens, I will no longer be buying regular milk. I am replacing my milk with the almond silk milk. Um, I love it. I put it in my eggs. There was no taste change or anything. So any kind of recipes that call for milk, and that's even when I decide to do, and y'all know I have to bake me some sweets every now and then, I'm going to be using the almond milk. I love it. It doesn't have a weird aftertaste. And like I said, because I have sensory issues, I don't like things to mess up the integrity of stuff. So that's a plus. So the creamer is being replaced. The Dunkin' Donuts creamer is going to be replaced. Y'all know I'm all about my Dunkin' Donuts. And I'm going to replace milk with the almond. So those two are definite immediate changes that I am making since being, uh, since trying the uh, vegan way of eating. Um, I will be incorporating in that chorizo because I had some eggs and chorizo. Um, I will be buying the impossible whenever possible. I will be using the impossible uh, when I'm going to do hamburgers, I thought that that cooked up beautifully. It was such a shock that it was good in taste. Now I do have to do and look at the pros and cons. If, if, if it's too much of this and it takes away from the real getting the protein from beef, I'll do all that. But as it stands right now, um, when I use up my ground beef in there, Whenever I can get that impossible, I will uh, replace using that type of beef. Like when I want to do tacos or when I want to do spaghetti, that's a great, great substitute. Salisbury steak, beef patty, that type of stuff. That impossible meat is that burger meat is that that was excellent. And plus, it keeps its shape. It keeps its size. It doesn't reduce in size. You know, beef, you know, you, you, you know, you cook that. It reduces down in size. So I do like that. I love the beef crumbles. Again, I can implement that when I'm doing chili and other things. So those two, uh, for right now, I'm going to replace that, uh, when possible, when possible. But now, of course, I still will eat my fish and I'll eat my chicken and I eat my turkey. Um, so those are some of the major things that uh, I'm going to be actually replacing since I have been doing, since I've done that. Um, so again, I have to say the assessment was great. I will uh, uh, keep the breakfast scramble that Tabitha Brown did. I'm definitely going to keep that. I'm definitely going to keep the, the homemade oatmeal, I will be making my home oatmeal from scratch now with the apples and the oats and all that. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I, I am glad I did it. And like I said, for anybody that's looking to make a change, start small. You don't have to do everything all at once. Do small changes and over time, you'll see the results. And like I said, that's what I'm doing, I'm making small changes. And then as I get used to it, then I can look at, you know, putting other things in place. But for right now, from those five days, those are the things that I'm going to immediately do. Um, the chickpeas will stay. I've seen some other great recipes that I'll make with that. Um, I'll try some different other recipes with jackfruit, 
But like I said, I plan on doing vegan eats, you know, maybe one or two times during the week, incorporate that in my week from here on out. Because now that I know a little bit more about eating plant-based, I know what to look for even in that. I don't want to replace, you know, stuff and, and buy a bunch of stuff full of sodium because I don't eat a whole lot of sodium anyway. I don't, well, let me just say this. I don't add a lot of salt in my cooking anyway because I like flavor. I like powders and I like flavor. Um, So that's a good thing. But uh, other than that, I'm just trying to think of anything else that I'm, that, that those were the major questions that everybody had. And like I said, just to encourage anybody who is out there who is interested in doing something different that again, you have consulted with your doctor. Because like I said, you know, based on my genetic, based on what goes on with me, what goes on in my family, what runs in my family, um, through inheritance and all that stuff, knowing your anatomy sitting down with your doctor, your nutritionist, based on whatever medications you're taking, they will tell you what's best for you to eat and not eat. And then, of course, you have to be a co-laborer and look up stuff and educate yourself on, on the side, too. So um, that's what I'm doing. Um, and I'm doing what worked best for Tanya, because like I said, you may get, you may try this, just to see what you can tolerate, just to see what you can handle. And your body may absorb more nutrients than I, my body did. Because again, based on my anatomy, based on my genetic makeup, my body may only be absorbing 60%. Whereas if you get on it, your body may allow you to absorb 100% of everything you, you eat. And, and you get the fullness and the robustness of what it's supposed to do for your body and it works wonderful for you and you're able to implement more of these things into your everyday life and I know there's so much information out there it could be overwhelming <laughs> but again I wanted to make sure I settled myself and I thought you know what this will be a great thing to share with people because like I said I'm speaking from the lens of a 50 year old woman a black woman with different ailments and different things going on um I have bursitis, which, you know, is that, that, that muscle that can, that can be inflamed. So I try to do things, I'm trying to do things now that will reduce any type of inflammation. Um, so again, you may have something else going on with you that you have to focus in on. Cause I mean, you know, we all have something we can work on and focus on. And I think it's important that again, you do what works best for you, um, I'm going to be doing things that work best for me. I'm going to be, uh, and, and I, and I don't want it to be such a chore that I get too consumed with, uh Oh, I ate that today and really shouldn't have again, everything in moderation. Um, there's not a gun to our heads that says that we have to stop and totally completely stop something. Uh, unless again, your, your physician has told you, because I know that there are some people saying, well, you need to eat this, you need that. Well, no, not based on what I know about what's going on with me. No, I can't eliminate that from my diet. Or I have to add something to my diet that other people may deem is not good. So, I mean, you know, again, we all have to do what works best for us. And that's going to be beneficial to us and something that we can maintain. So that we don't get discouraged and go back to the familiar that's got, that got us in the place we were to start with. So like I said, I'm doing this for Tanya, but I thought it would be fun to share this with you all. And again, the best thing you can do is, again, we can watch video after video after video, but you never really know if it will work or be beneficial to you unless you do it yourself. And so I'm a type of person, you know, I'm either going to get up off the pot or do it. So I'm a type of person that likes to try it. You can tell me and everything. But when I'm seeking to do better, see, that's the thing. When you know better, you try to do better. And there's no greater or elite person, uh, you know, just because she eats oranges, apples, and pears, that doesn't mean you dog out somebody else because they eat bananas, blueberries, and raspberries. It's all fruit. Aren't you glad we have choices? 
Aren't you glad that God just didn't make an apple? And that was the only choice of fruit that we have. There's a, there's an abundance of things that God has created for us all to enjoy. But like anything else, do it in moderation. And when you have something going on in your body that you know that you have to stay away from because you see what it does, if you do, then we all can do better. Again, we all can do better. We all can start from somewhere. And this is just, again, my starting point of uh, a new uh, lifestyle that I'm taking on. So anyway, I hope you all gained something from this. I hope this has been, um, again, beneficial to help uh, encourage you to step out of the box and do something different. And what you cannot use, discard. But what you can use, implement. Make it inclusive. So anyway, I thank y'all for your questions. I thank you for your concerns, your suggestions and recommendations. So now that I've got the knowledge, I can go on in power. Amen. I'm serious, y'all. So have fun. Get in the kitchen. Do some do some stuff. Do you know, create your own concoction. A lot of times we don't have to follow uh every recipe verbatim. Put your own spice of life in it, right? Anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, leave them down in the description, uh, you know, in the comment, in the party section down below, and I'll do my very best to answer the questions. But I hope I answered the main burning questions uh, that everyone have. Anyway, love you. God bless, and may the peace of the Lord be with you. Bye, y'all.